Hello, my name is Russ Horning. I'm a business development representative from WL Gore. Gore would like to thank the Parental Drug Association, as well as the Universe of Prefilled Syringe, for giving Gore the opportunity to present our poster session today. In mid-2018, Gore commercialized the Improject silicone-free pre-filled syringe plunger that enables bare glass barrels. This silicone-free system eliminates silicone, which could potentially migrate away from the walls of the barrel or be absorbed in the drug product. With the elimination of silicone, we can remove a known source of protein aggregation as well as significantly reduce the particles, some visible particles within a pre-filled syringe system. My colleague Tyler Hinkle will be providing information related to simulating ocean freight shipping conditions and the challenges they impose upon the delivery performance of a pre-filled syringe. Tyler is the lead engineer for our 1ML long plunger. And with that, I'd like to introduce Tyler. Thank you, Russ. In this poster, we are going to talk about how you can condition your incoming syringe barrels to challenge your downstream performance. So in this case, we chose the hot and humid conditions of ocean freight shipping for our challenge so that we could understand the impact it would have on downstream injection time. Looking at some consulted theory from PDA 2013, you can see quite a few factors are already fixed and known. You should already know the inner diameter of your needle, the length of your needle, the viscosity of your fluid, the inner diameter of your barrel, and your spring force. So the only thing that's really left is the system friction itself. So when considering siliconized or silicone-free systems, in one, silicone may migrate. In the other, there is no silicone to migrate. When considering which portion of the BLEF curve is most affected by system friction, we come to this example. At t equals zero, with no additional aging, if you take a siliconized sample, fill it, plunge it, and test it for BLEF, you will get a break loose force and an extrusion force region. However, at various aging conditions, occasionally you will get a large outlier where the break loose force jumps. This big jump up could be hypothesized to be due to silicone migration. On this same graph, if you overlay an example spring curve of about 20 newtons to 12 newtons, you will see that that high break loose force exceeds that spring curve. So what are the downstream implications of that? Before we get there, let's start back with that gray curve. In order to test injection time, if you take sister samples and get a displacement over time graph using that same 20 newton to 12 newton spring, you can get injection time by simply drawing a line down from this point. In the example explained in orange, where the break loose force exceeds the example spring curve, the injection time is measured out here. This increase in injection time is due to the long delay where the auto injector from the point of actuation to the point of the plunger moving is physically stalled. This stalling phenomena can lead to incomplete injections if the patient pulls the auto injector out too early. In silicone free systems, however, you don't see those large increases in break force at the various aging conditions. Because those curves are all entirely below the example spring curve, you have a very consistent injection time. This is where ocean freight comes into play. We have heard using the hot and humid conditioning that is typical for simulating ocean freight is a really good way to challenge performance. We took silicone free syringe barrels and conditioned them at 40C, 75% RH for about a month, and then filled them with 15 centipoise glycerol water, and after that, plungered them with the silicone free gore and project plunger, and even continued to age them for up to six more months. We then tested them for a typical BLEF curve at 250 millimeters per minute, and plotted all of those curves on the one chart, as you can see at the bottom of this slide. After that, we overlaid the example 20 Newton to 12 Newton spring curve from before, and you can see that even with the added viscosity and aging conditions, the entirety of these curves are below the example spring curve. This is an indication that the auto injector will not stall. 
Before we discuss the injection time results of sister samples from those BLEF curves, it's important to remind everyone about our benchtop auto injector test. On the left, you will see a picture of the setup, but it's basically testing auto injector performance without a physical auto injector. Instead of simulating a spring with a servo or a motor, we're using an actual spring, one that you can replace to tailor to your experiment. So prior to each test, we can choose a spring that matches any appropriate spring constant and any appropriate starting and ending force. First, we have a reminder of the BLEF curves from earlier. If you remember, empty silicone-free syringe barrels were conditioned to simulate ocean freight shipping. Then after that, they were filled with 15 centipoise glycerol water, plungered with the gore and project silicone-free plunger. It then continued to age for up to six more months. Sister samples of those conditions were all run on the injection time test described in the prior slide at a spring force of about 20 to 12 newtons. The 35 sister samples of those BLEF curves had a very consistent injection time with a standard deviation of only about a quarter second. It is hypothesized that the small standard deviation is due to the fact that there is no silicone to migrate, there are no liquid lubricants, and hence no changes in system friction. This lack of break loose force excursions eliminates the risk of auto injector stalls. So with that, I would like to turn it back over to Russ and thank you all for your time. Gore would like to thank you for taking your time today and viewing our poster session. If you have any other additional questions related to our poster, the Gore silicone free Improject plunger or other biopharmaceutical products that are offered by Gore, please feel to reach out to me or my European counterpart, Rob Gellison, and our contact information is in the blue box below. Thank you very much and have a good event.